Hello, everybody. My name is Jake, aka Illinook, and today I welcome you to Nook News. I don't know, maybe that's what I'll call my news updates from now on. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go over a couple of things today. You've probably seen them already, but each individual one I didn't think was big enough to make its own video about. So I'm going to combine it all together. Guys, we have Hasbro news. We have Takara Tomy news, guys. We just have tons of news. I'm going to start off with the ones I'm more excited about, which is the Hasbro news. And it's that on Amazon Canada, and I think on Toy Wiz, or a little, some of them are on Toy Wiz. We guys, we got images of Spryzen Requiem, Luminor L3, and Regulus R3. We got them uh, pictures of them just separate by themselves, and also pictures of them in box. And guys, they look dope, of course. So first, we're, we're going to look at the head honcho, Spryzen Requiem. As you guys can see, it looks completely dope. Now, I'm not really the biggest fan that they changed the godship color from blue to silver. I think it kind of makes it a little bit more bland looking, but I think it still looks cool. You know, it's, it's whatever. I'm really pumped about this release, actually. This is my most hyped release because Spriggan Requiem was just so amazingly dope. Um, so good, in fact, that it was banned in all WBO tournaments which kind of, it, it's honestly a good thing it was banned. Um, it was just being used and abused in tournaments. But that doesn't mean Spryzen and Requiem is banned, so we kind of have to wait until that releases. And its tentative release date on Entertainment Earth is June. Toy Wiz, it says July. Amazon's always off, so you never listen to Amazon. So it could come out before the big Baytuber Brawl tournament, so I could be able to use it, maybe, if it's not banned. But Spryzen and Requiem, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, now, guys, we're going to move on to Luanor L3. Now, this one's color scheme is, I like it. I do think it looks good. I think all Switch Strike look, all Switch Strike bays look good because I think God bays are really hard to mess up anyways. Um, but this one matches the color scheme pretty well, except for the fact that, what is it? The, the kind of whiskers the you can call them eyebrows i guess they're really not but it's kind of like the whisper the whiskers that come out of like the dragon you know whatever it is um that is not colored yellow or maybe they're horns i don't know what are they uh, those are not colored yellow those are not colored at all actually and you know hasbro bays don't come with stickers so yeah it does look a little bit more bland but Overall, I still think it looks really good. Now, I am hyped about this, except I'm not really extremely hyped because Nightmare Longinus, while it looked good for me, I never got a good feel for it. I never thought it was that amazing of a bay. Tons of them, they had horrible mold variations. Like some of them were getting, like some people were getting um, Longinuses that were like unburstable. Some people, like me, got it to where like you could legit tap it and it would burst. Like, so overall, there's a lot of variations that I really hope Hasbro kind of nails out. But guys, Luanor L3 looks really, really dope. And then we move on to the last bay, which is going to be Regulus R3. And this one's all right. You know, Regulus was never a great bay. In fact, I think it's one of the worst god bays, in my opinion. It's, I'm going to say it is the worst because it came as a prize bay for a uh, random booster. So it was really expensive and it was just overall really bad. It was really bad. So I really hope it gets kind of buffed a little bit to where at least it's usable. Cause Regulus, like Shelter Regulus, like you launch it and it was unusable. It burst within like two seconds. You couldn't even have fun with the bay. It wasn't even a fun bay to use. So hopefully they kind of ironed it out a little bit. I like the color scheme on this way more. Um, just from these little images that you see, I think it looks overall better. But hopefully they can fix it a little bit. But that's really all of the Hasbro news. Just that we got images for the new wave of Switch Strike Bays. And I think it looks really, really good. Now before I move on to the Takara Tomy news, I want to introduce a little segment that I want to do. I think maybe once or twice every week for right now. Maybe at one point I'll make it every video. But I, I don't think so. But I want to do guys... Uh, the nook of the week and what that's going to be is I want to accept submissions from you guys to where you guys basically say your channel name be like yo what's up I'm insert channel name and then have fun and bay away so I'll introduce you towards the middle of the video kind of talk about you a little bit and then at the very end of the video you'll do my outro 
So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the very first nook of the week, which is JP0T. Woo! She is the very first nook of the week. She's been part of the bay tubing community for almost as long as I have, just a couple months less than I have, which and she's been consistently going for years and years. And she's overall really, really great. She definitely enjoys what she does. She organizes tournaments all the time for the WBO. And I thought that she would be a perfect first pick. And she's also, I believe, the third Beyblade YouTuber ever, at least Western, because I can't really speak for um, like Japanese and like Asian Beytubers, but the third Western Beytuber ever to get a silver play button. So overall, congratulations, Jojo, on being this week's look. Of the week. So let's move on to the Takara Tomy stuff. Now we're going to boom move on to the Takara Tomy news, which is that Archer Hercules, his character was introduced more in the latest episode, and we got a bunch of new screenshots from him. And he looks really, really cool. His name is Hoey or Howie Ho Hoey. Um, he's a really beefy looking dude. He was obvious he was gonna have Hercules this entire time. A lot of people thought that he was. It was obvious that he was going to have Hercules because his character archetype fits perfectly. But we also got, um, these aren't full pictures of the bay, but they are rendered images from um, the Takara Tomy kind of like Beyblade website and also from the episode itself. So it's kind of like a 3D model sort of, but it is very indicative of what the bay is going to look like. And here you go. We have Archer Hercules and it looks really, really cool. I get really big Flash Sagittario vibes from it but maybe that's just me. It is confirmed a stamina type, and I believe the full combo is Archer Hercules um, 13 and then ET, I think, which some people think is gonna stand for like Eternal or Ether or Ether, something like, something like that. Um, but it's basically kind of like a reworked version of Revolve, it looks like. It looks very similar to Revolve, although I don't think it's gonna be as free spinning, and it does look to be a little bit more of like a bumper so it doesn't get tipped over but uh, we have to wait and see what the actual part looks like which is going to get revealed decently soon um, tomorrow is the first day of june and the bay comes out in june so we're going to get way more coming soon but i really like this bay a lot as you can see it does look like hercules um there's this one i don't know if you guys ever remember the movie but with uh dwayne the rock johnson and hercules he has like this kind of fur like wolf or is the lion? I think it might be a lion pelt around his head, kind of like a helmet sort of thing. And this is like the main thing of Hercules. And I think it looks really cool. It's definitely really smart the way they designed it. And um, not only do we have pictures of the guys, we also have basically what the ability is going to be. So we're getting a lot of info about Hercules really early because of the episodes. But basically what it is, that it's very similar to sort of, sort of beat Kukulkin. Um, but it's more similar, in my opinion, to Shadow or Ecalcum, to where when it's spinning really quickly, it has like bows on each side. Those will kind of pop out. Um, I'm gonna guess it's gonna give it more attack, actually, or more more recoil, because it is a stamina bay. It's gonna give it more recoil, and as soon as it loses some uh, centrifugal force, so as soon as it kind of slows down, they will retract, and it will be more rounded. So it's kind of like Shadow or Ecalcum, a little a little bit like Beat Kukulkin. But we'll just have to see how it actually performs. Abilities in battle never really do too much. They're always kind of mixed. So its competitiveness is going to be, I think, determined by its teeth. So anyways, guys, that has been the update. Kind of like a one shot. Not too many little cuts in between. But tell me what you guys think of the brand new Hasbro kind of update. And what you guys think of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> and tell me, guys, what you think of Archer... Hercules. I think it looks really, really cool, but we'll just have to see. It might be a really meh bay. I don't really think, I don't, I really don't think there's been any good Super Z bays besides, I guess, I think Ragnarok is the only like stamina Super Z bay. So I don't think, it's kind of mixed. So I don't think they've made really any great stamina bays yet. So maybe this will break the mold. We'll just have to see. But thank you guys for watching. So guys, thank you for watching this kind of long news update. But to wrap it up, let's get our outro from our Nook of the Week. Hey everyone, it's Jojo. Have fun and bay away.